Hello, Pisces. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. Thanks to you. Thank you for helping me get home. I shuffled until the uh, cards started to fly out and the first one that flew out was the Ace of Fire. You are on fire, Pisces. If this energy has not begun, it's about to begin. A brand new, passionate beginning. A beginning you can be passionate about. Something brand new. This is your crowning energy. Along with the two of water, true love, soulmates, twin flames, the love of a lifetime. Oh my. Uh, Pisces, you got a lot. Just in those two cards I could do a reading. A passionate new beginning with a soulmate. <laughs> and the world. You've just completed a cycle. You're already in the new one, I suspect. You earned the right of passage to go in any direction you want. And it looks like you chose it. Why? Because here is your guardian. Spirit puts you on a guardian's back to guide you out of a maze. You made the decision. It's here. You made the decision what direction you wanted to go. And Spirit said, okay. Now, let me help you. Now, I can help you. But you had to make that decision, which direction you wanted to go. You're showing a great deal of stamina, independence, mind of your own. And I love this card because it also shows your faith. Faith in where you're going, what you're doing, your abilities, your capabilities. Uh, there's still a decision that needs to be made. What's this all about? Passionate new beginning with a twin flame, soulmate, true love. Going in a new direction in your new cycle. I guess the guardian is helping you make this decision? Are you allowing the universe to just step in here and kick your butt? Perhaps, Pisces, you're hanging on to your independence. You've begun your new cycle. You found your worth. You're praying to make the right choice. You don't want to give up what you've gained. You're afraid that by making the wrong choice, all the work you did will be lost. Queen of Earth, stability. This could be someone in your life, or this could be the energy you're taking on of stability, saving money, being organized, putting everything in their, their rightful place in order for things to run smoothly. This is being the queen. This is a woman who knows how to run her home efficiently. This could be a man or a woman, but taking on these energies. At the heart of your reading is the fortune's wheel. So universe is moving ahead in your faith, moving you ahead in, in favor. In, oh, did that make sense? In your favor, the wheel is moving forward. And it's fortune's wheel. So you're in a nice, you're in a good position. This could be a windfall of money. This could be money that you are earning. Uh, this could be a promotion. Uh, your own business taking on. Queen of air. So on each side of fortune's wheel, we've got organization. Putting things in the rightful place. Very nurturing capabilities here, too. Capabilities. You're just nurturing. Pisces is naturally nurturing. Queen of Air. This is the wisdom that you gained. 
you have a face that is approachable, lovely, but the Queen of Air does not deal with falsehoods. She can smell a rat. It's almost like, oh, she's so pretty, so approachable, but so scary. She can smell a rat. And you've been showing a great deal of patience for someone possibly that you need to cut out. Or patience in your work. Patience in, well, I wanted to say your ship's coming in. Wish fulfillment. So whatever you're afraid to decide up here for fear of losing it, all that you've gained in the work that you've done, here is your wish fulfillment. You're in good hands, Pisces, and here you are, feeling your way towards your destiny, connecting with your soulmate if you haven't met them yet, connecting with them psychically. Many Pisces people are kinetic, too. They make things happen. You can be very emotional. Perhaps you're overwhelmed right now by the grace of God and the gifts that have been given to you spiritually. Emotional about someone. What's beautiful about this card is, and being paired with the Queen of Air, you are no longer being taken advantage of. You are Pisces in their full glory. in strength, patience, amazing. Does this reading really need to go anywhere further? I haven't done this for a long time, guys, but we're going to pair up the elemental with the seasonal today. Afraid of making the wrong decision, but this tells you, Pisces, you'll be okay. You won't make the wrong decision, whatever it is. Just, whoops, that it needs to be done. This wanted to come out. Cut the deck. This is where it wanted to be cut. Oh yeah, okay. <clears throat> but for some reason I just grabbed out of the card while I was cutting it. So this is the two of winter. This is about that decision we spoke about that you're afraid to make. This card on this deck says, indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. Trying to please others. This decision has something to do with pleasing others. Rather than pleasing yourself. I suppose you could be feeling that, what if you're wrong? What if they're right? You're intuition is telling you but even that could be confusing sometimes people's advice and opinions as to what decision you can make puts up a block so that you cannot see clearly perhaps in your meditations or prayers ask for that clarity ask for spirit to bring you that clarity there's little to worry about here. In fact, I don't think there's anything to worry about Pisces because look, Spirit's got your back. You're on your guardian's back. They're leading you towards 
that decision, the correct one. And this work you did to accomplish how far you have come, you won't lose. You won't lose it. In fact, you'll gain. All right, we're going to start with <coughs> Eight of Winter. Now, this is the Eight of Swords. It's about feeling trapped, but uh, not on my watch. On my watch, it's like it's watched. On my watch, it's when I see this card, yes, you've purposely changed your change. My goodness, what's with all the past tense? Well, maybe it's because it's past tense. You chained yourself. You blindfolded yourself. You can unchain yourself. You can unblindfold yourself. But what I see is a person who has surrendered to spirit and said, okay, Lord, your will, not my will. I'm giving it up to you, giving the angels permission to step in and help. So there you are on a little iceberg of your own. You jumped off the bandwagon and letting spirit take you where you need to go. The current, the guardian towards this passion, this passionate new beginning. There will be a reunion. It looks like someone from your past or it could be someone from your past life. This soulmate. Reunion, celebration. Maybe you're going to a wedding or a party or you're going to meet them there. The good you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of money, borrowing wisely or repaying a debt. This is also about balance, equal give and take. This is the world card, the direction that you've chosen. There will be an equal give and take now. Eight of fire. Well, that makes sense. You're taking a rest on your guardian's back. You're in pause. Spirit saying, put your feet up. Put your feet up, my love. I'm, I've got your back. The guardian is taking you out of this cycle that you've closed. And you're in a rest period. A rest period where you're looking at things from different perspectives. And where this says it's current awakening. And I've been talking in past tense. You're awake. You are awakened. <clears throat> nine of Earth is going to be clarified by the Nine of Summer. Wish fulfillment. This is the second Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. This independence, what it is you're praying for. You don't want to lose what you've gained. But of course, Pisces, you want your true love. This card says wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time of life. <clears throat> Two of air is going to be clarified by the Empress. When you choose Pisces, when you make that decision, you will be the Empress. You are the Empress, ready to birth something brand new. In fact, I think it's already being born or it's born. I'm getting a feeling of past tense energy. This is already taking place. It says time to take action, the power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. Oh dear, <clears throat> on the two of her deciding, do I want a life of luxury or no? It's kind of a no brainer. Queen of Earth is the princess of summer. So yeah, this is looking like you. It could be a friend of yours, a mother, a best friend. Uh, and like I said, this could be male or female taking on these energies. It could be you. And it very well likely could be you because here's the princess of summer, which is water, gentle, sensitive, kind, inexperienced. So a younger person, a new relationship or emotional experience, invitations to social events, a compassionate friend that you can share your concerns with. So it looks like maybe this friend is younger than you. Fortune's wheel is going to be clarified by the nine of winter. 
this is you <laughs> up at night worried that your fortune's wheel will not turn and you're worrying for absolutely nothing queen of air is going to be clarified with the ten of summer ten of cups all of these decisions that you made cutting out what you didn't need your ten of cups is coming in the completion of love abundance happiness patience waiting for that wheel to turn you've been patient you've done all you can waiting for that wheel to turn turning that wheel yourself delays are over sudden or unexpected good luck a new car or travel your patience is paying off your wish fulfillment card is going to be clarified by the six of summer someone from your past is going to fulfill your wish so it looks like your true love is either someone from your past or someone from a past life the return of people or romances from your past remembering events differently in a better or worse light light than how they really occurred hmm. queen of water Pisces you're headed for marriage you're headed for a long-term commitment you're headed for those four foundation stones in place solidly Wow subscribe if you haven't thank you for helping me get home um, hit the like because it helps my videos get out if you come over to the member site everything's in the description for the price of one extended reading you get them all all the zodiacs all month um, also the readings are $25 ask as many questions as you like I'll answer as many as I can in a 15 to 20 minute period it's all below guys thanks for joining me God bless you and we'll see you again soon bye